Hello guys. Welcome to 12th session of Razer View Engine Tutorials. In previous session we are just created simple form. And retrieve form data by using form collection. In this session we will create a model and add those data into static list. You can also take database by using entity model. But in this session I am going to use static list and also provide validations for form submission. First of all we need to create a new model. Right click on model folder and select add new class. Named employee. Within this class we need to provide list of properties for that model. Employee ID type of integer. Employee name of string. An employee salary of float. Let assign display name property, which will show in form. For that write display name. Within parenthesis pass string that you want to show. Display name is present in different namespace so we need to include it. Place this attribute in all F properties. For validation we can use other attributes on those properties. For example in our case all of the properties are required. For that use required attribute in all of the properties. Required also present in different namespace so we need to include it. We can also provide custom error message for that validation. Along with required we can also use range validation. Which takes two parameters. Minimum value and maximum value. Save model. Create a new controller for our new form. Right click on controller. And select add controller. I am going to use MVC5 empty controller. Here is our empty controller, which contains index action. First of all add namespace for models. And create a static list of employee.t. And also add some dummy records in it. And create a view for our action index. For that right click and select add view. Not that in this example I am going to use list template instead of empty one. And we need to create strongly typed view. Select employee as model. We will see more about strongly typed view in later session. Click on add. You can see that it generates some code for our page. Which includes table. And containing for each loop for each row. Open our controller. Within parenthesis we need to pass list of employees. Save it and open its view. Right click and select view in browser. You can see that it provide list of employees in tabular format. Now we need to create a new action which provides form for adding new employee. Which will only return view. And create a view for that. Select empty template but with model. 
and select employee class as model. Within this class we need to create a form. Let's start with form begin. Till now we are used methods like text box, label, etc. But if you are noticed then there are method named text box for, label for exist. In normal method we are provided name statically as a string. But in methods with suffix for, it takes details from model. In this example we are using for methods. And in this example I am going to use editor for method instead of text box, password, or hidden. Editor for method is smart enough to generate HTML control based on data type that we are specify. Write at sign HTML dot label for model such that model dot employee ID. And for editor write at sign HTML dot editor for model such that model dot employee ID. Add some spacing. Let's copy this statements and write it for other two properties too. And and create a submit button. For validation we need enable validation summary. For that write at HTML dot validation summary true. And display error message for each control along with their editor. For that write at HTML dot validation message for and pass property from model. Copy this for other two properties. For provide client side validation we also need to add JavaScript and jQuery files required by it. For that create a block for at section script. And write at script dot render within parameter we can specify path to javascript file or a bundle, which defined in bundle config file. I am going to use bundle for that write. Tiled forward slash bundles forward slash jquery vel. And save it. Right click and select view in browser. Here is a form that we are designed. Let's directly click on submit. You can see that it generate error message for each of controls. And you may also see for employee ID it generate input type number instead of text. Let fill some data. You can see that validation is working perfectly. Now we need to create action that called when form is submitted. For that open controller. Create a new action named create. However this method will gets employee as a parameter. And use HTTP POST attribute. Because of when form is submitted this action with HTTP POST will call. In this action we need to add data into our list. For that write all employees dot add EMP. And after adding we need to return to index action, which display list of employees. For that write return redirect to action. Index. Save it. Open create view. And right click, select view in browser. Enter valid data. And click on submit button. You can see that it will redirect to our index action. And here is a list of all employees. Which now include the one that we are created. Let's see what we are learned in this session. 
First of all we need to create new model for that. Use display name attribute to change text to be display on label. Use required attribute for make that field required. And use range attribute for providing validation to specific range. Instead of using label method we are used label for method. An editor for instead of text box. For providing validation we need to use validation summary. And for display each of error message we need to use validation error message. Created static list that hold all of the employee details. Make action for create with HTTP post attribute. Within that we are add employee object to our list. And redirect to index action. Thanks for watching, have a nice day. If you have any doubt feel free to contact me.